right, blessings and welcome. Glad that you could join me today. I have a simple word for you today, exciting word, and, and I'm not going to waste a lot of time. I'm just going to jump right in. And so as we transition into uh, the, the last month of the year, uh, uh, into December, you know, some of us are waiting and we've been waiting for something. You know, we've been waiting for a special time, a special season. Even, even like with, with children, we, we we're waiting for Christmas, and some of us were, are waiting for New Year and the turning of a year. And so, uh, one of the things I'm hearing the Lord says, we don't need to wait on external circumstances, or external timing, or external changing of the year to receive and to get what it is that He has for us. We don't need to wait for another season. Uh, we don't need to wait till another year, but the wait is over, all right? And so for some of us, the wait is over. And so that's the word that I have for you today. The wait is over and no more delay. Now, this word is it's not for everybody because some of us are still in our season of waiting. We're still in, in that season. But for, but for others, I hear the Lord say, what are you waiting for? And so he says, what are you waiting for? Because there's some things, there's some instructions, there's some, some vision that he's given us, given you, there's some prophetic words that's been spoken over you, there's assignments, some assignments that's been released over us, released over you, and some of us have been waiting, waiting for this special event, waiting for the new year, waiting for the 2020, and, and I hear the Lord say, what are you waiting for? And so, and, and, and so some of us in the waiting, we have become weary, we have become worn, and we've become discouraged because the, one of the tactics of the enemy is, is if he can't stop you, he just wants to slow you down, wear you down, make you discouraged and make you weary so you don't pursue the thing that God has for you. But I'm here to tell you that the wait is over. Galatians 6, 9 says that, Let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season, we shall reap if we do not lose heart or if we don't faint. And so uh, it says, let us not grow weary uh, while doing good. And so we need not to get weary, worn down. Get discouraged. If you find yourself in that, I'm here to encourage you today to know that God has a due season for you. Some of you are overdue. All right. Some of you have been carrying that baby too long. Some of you have been carrying that thing and it's time for you to give birth. It's your due season. Somebody is overdue. And so if for those who are overdue, God says, it, uh, it's time to release that thing. I'm bringing you into that. I birthed that in you. I cultivate that thing in you. I've grown it in you so that you can release that vision into the earth realm. You can release uh, the dream that he's given you into the earth. You can release and walk out your destiny. It's due season. And the enemy wants us to lose heart, to faint. And, and give up. But I'm here to tell you, you're not going to faint. You're not going to throw in the towel. You're not going to give up. You're not going to lay down. You're not going to stop from what God has for you. It's your due season. You're, even if you've grown weary, he can renew your strength. He will strengthen you and he will allow you to bring to pass and not abort the thing that he's placed in you. It's your due season. And so even those who are waiting, there's some who are waiting and some of them are saying, it's taking too long. It's not going to happen. Where, where, and when? I, I need you to know that the word of the Lord says in Habakkuk uh, 2.3, it says something like, For still the vision awaits its appointed time. It hastens to the end. It will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. And so the vision and the thing that God has given to you, it may seem slow. 
But the word says that it will not lie. It will hasten. Let God be true and every man a liar. The word of God says that uh, God cannot lie. He's not like man that he shall lie. And so if he's spoken it, if, if the prophetic word's been released over you, if the word of God has been implanted in you, if he's given you a dream, if he's given you a vision, it won't lie. Even though it says it, it seems slow. It's time to wait. When it seems that it's not happening, it's time to wait. That is, it's not time to give up. It's not time to throw in the towel. So again, that vision is for an appointed time, and I declare that your appointed time is coming. Your appointed time is nigh. Your appointed time is near. Your appointed time is now. And so it, I declare over you that it will not delay. It will surely come. It will hasten, and it will speed up so that you can see the promise of Lord fulfilled in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you, people of God? And so the word says in Ezekiel 12, 28, to tell you. God, the Lord wants me to tell you this. He says, Son of man, take note that the house of Israel is saying, that the church of God is saying, that my believers are saying, the vision that he sees is for many years from now. He prophesies about the distant future. Therefore, tell them that this is what the Lord says. None of my words will be delayed any longer. The message I speak will be fulfilled, declares the Lord. And so one of the things that we need to make sure is, is that what we're hearing, what we are believing for is the message that God speaks. Not a random message. Not a message of the flesh. Not a message that's just come out of a carnal mind. But the message... The prophetic word over your life, the word of God over your life, the promise over your life, what he declares, he said, he said it will be fulfilled. He goes on to say that it, this word won't be delayed any longer. And so God's timing is perfect. And, and, and so we need to know and be aware of is Something, if it's not happening or, or we're not seeing something come to pass, we need to begin to ask ourselves some questions. What is the timing of God concerning this? All right. Is this is this something that's still being worked on? Things that's still being prepared? Still that's things that's still being nourished? Or are we experiencing delay in the spirit? Are we experiencing demonic delay? All right, because we, we have the example on the word of God being released, on the promise of God, and the answer to prayer being released in Daniel that was held up in the heavenlies by demonic delay. And the word of the Lord says that uh, my word, no more delay. And so, and so if there's demonic delay, we need to war and we need to, to, to uh, get in agreement with God concerning the thing that's holding up what he wants to release. I declare over you right now in the name of Jesus that there's no more delay. That there'll be no more delay in the vision that he's given you. That there'll be no more delay in the answer to prayer. That there'll be no more delay in the blessings that's laid up for you. That there'll be no more delay in the thing that he wants to place in your hand. There'll be no more delay in, a, in, in that salvation for that family member. That there will be no more delay in you getting that business going. There will be no more delay in your ministry. No more delay in your finances. No more delay in your family. And right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I come against satanic roadblocks. Satanic hindrances. Satanic mountains. Satanic obstacles. And satanic uh, uh opposition that will keep you from receiving and walking in what he has for you. No more delay. Galatians 4.4 4 says the fullness of time. It says, it says something like, let me just read that. It says when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son. And so there, there, and so for the people who were waiting, it may seem, it may have seemed like it wasn't going to happen. It may have seemed like things were taking too long. It may have seemed like it, it wasn't going to come to pass. But the fullness of time came. 
And see, when the fullness of time came, God sent forth his son. And I'm here to tell you that when the fullness of time comes, God is going to send forth his son into your life. He's going to send forth the word. I declare that he is sending forth right now in the name of Jesus Christ, the word in your life. He is sending forth the promise over your life. He was sending forth empowerment in your life. He is sending forth a blessing in your life. He is sending forth anointing in your life. He is sending forth grace in your life. He is sending forth everything that you need for success to achieve the, the thing that he has for you, the thing that he has for your family, the thing that he has for your relationship, the thing that he has for the work of your hands. I declare that he is sending it forth now. The fullness of time has come. We don't have to wait. We don't have to unless it's time to wait. And so right now in Jesus' name, I give you thanks, oh God. There's some things that we have to wait on and some things you are saying, what are you waiting for? Help us to know the difference. Help us to know, God, when we are waiting upon you. And if we are, your word says, those who wait upon the Lord, you shall renew their strength. They would mount up like wings as eagles. They will walk and not be weary. They would run and not faint. So, God, I pray that if we are waiting for you, we would mount up as wings of eagles, that we would be empowered in the heavenlies, that we would be empowered in the, in, in the high places, that we would be empowered in the spirit realm. I pray, oh God, that if we are waiting on you, and while our feet is touching earth, that we are running, oh God, that you are strengthening us up, that we are running the race, that we are finishing the course. I pray, oh God, as even as we are walking that, we, even if we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, while we are waiting on you, you will fear no evil. And you are strengthening us, and you are guiding us, and you are bringing us to the place that you have for us in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray, God, that as we even enter into the next year, that we're going to see the release. We're going to see the manifestation of the things that you have for our lives. What are we waiting for? The wait is over. No more delay. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings.